we have arrived. It's about to go down. Where are we, you ask? Oh my god, the Golden Arches. After months of dieting, after hours of obsession, we have finally made it. And planning. And planning. <laughs> and now we will conquer multiple Grand Max. This is me and Carlos's meal collectively. Only $53, so that's pretty good. Hopefully they got everything that we asked for. Let's see. Let's see if they got it all. Post show. It's a little snack. It's a little snack. This is a little tiny snack before more little tiny and big snacks. All right, guys, we are about to consume large amounts of calories. I mean, I to get a grand big man. So you can see what's going on. Carl's taking down the grand big Mac already. With the bad molar. It's like a quarter pounder, but a Big Mac. Mm. Go well. This is the size that it should probably be normally. This shouldn't be the grand, but this should be the regular Big Mac. If anything, the grand Big Mac should have four patties. Or two four pound patties. Mm -hmm. I thought this one would have two quarter pound patties. I guess you can make a quarter pounder like a big man, put big man off. Buy yourself two quarter pounders and do it yourself. Thank you. Ha. Same thank you to a congratulations while your Big Mac sauce is running down the side of your face. One crush already? No. Holy shit. Holy the last one in my mouth. Mm. Me and Carlos pretty much got the same order. The only difference that we got is he got two Grand Macs, I got one Big Mac and a Grand Mac, but I got two apple pies. Only difference. This will be the next carb load for the next show. <laughs> This is new though. This is the sriracha sauce. Or, I don't know. What the hell is that? I thought it was sriracha sauce. Sichuan sauce? No, no. I don't know. Mmm. It's like Asian. It's like an Asian sauce, like a teriyaki sauce. It's kind of good. Are you ready to try I'm kind of curious to see what the food over there is like. They already gave us like a... Because we're staying at a hotel that's more like a westernized hotel. So, they gave us a list things that we can choose to eat and it's only a list of three like pre-made meals kind of thing so they're like you have option a option b and option c and you could have three of these a day, up to three of these a day not including i'm sure 
breakfast and then they take us to dinner. Mm -hmm. But it's weird. It's like chicken. Two max down. Two down. Carl's not playing games. The buffalo sauce. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna take this one down right now. Mm. So how was your Arnold experience overall? I really want to do a little better, but can't complain. Nice show, nice stage. You put together good. I thought they were very well organized. For such a big show, it seemed like a well-oiled machine. They knew exactly what, you know, the times were accurate. They delegated very well. Everybody who takes control of their name does a good job as well on that business. How was this, like, amateur stage, you know, where people, like, what I'm always concerned with is, in the amateur stage, everybody, not everybody speaks English. So, how do they communicate with the people that don't speak rough. English? That's gotta be difficult. Well, before, when we had it international, the, uh, most of the officials would come from their countries with their athletes. So, we had them together this time. It was all Americans, so it was a little more rough with, with communication. I think that Asian guy got second, the one that we met when we first got to um, Better than I was dreaming of. Everybody watching, like, I eat that way, I only eat them. <laughs> but they're like, why are they recording? This is nothing new. No. Like, yeah, well, you eat like this every fucking day. Yeah. This is like a months. big deal for us. Over three months. And nuggets done. You ran back ten piece. Ten piece. I didn't double dip for going to try that one. Oh, I can double dip out of a fries. <laughs> Alright, that's crushed. This is a bad mold. I gotta extract it too. Really? Yeah. You wanna do a root canal? Oh! That's $700 for the, for the root canal, $700 for the, for the crown. So you don't have um, insurance? Yeah, still. That's the insurance. I was gonna get pulled out for like 100 bucks cheaper. Yeah, they. This is the first year that I get um, dental in my plane because it was only like it's like five dollars more. Yeah. And last year, I've always had very healthy teeth, and last year they had to do a deep cleaning. Yeah. And not only did that shit suck, but it wasn't cheap either. Nope. Even insurance would cost money. So, all that specialty work on the new insurance plan, it's only like 20 bucks. Like a, a deep clean. Yeah. But I have to get cavities pulled out. Or cavities pulled out. Cavities filled. I think I have like, like two that were really little last year. So by now, they should be ready to go. My insurance sucks. I was 60 bucks for deep cleaning and now it's 1400 bucks total. And I'm like, <clears throat> That you can do a the Tom Hanks and Castaway. You can get out myself. 
skate and I skate and just knock it out myself. <laughs> I got an ice skate for you if you need it. You have ice, so you have ice at home, so I gotta, I gotta warm up. <laughs> Two burgers down, fries down, nuggets down. Got left two apple pies and my McFlurry. I McFlurry like up. I like to take my apple pie, dip it in the McFlurry, and crush it. In the McFlurry. Now, I used to do that all the time, and now I saw an ad that McDonald's is now doing. Maybe it hasn't gotten to this one yet, but they're doing like a, do you do? A, a, an apple a la mode kind of thing where it's the ice cream sundae, mm -hmm. and then they put the, uh, the apple pie. It's smart. They don't gotta make anything new. No. Oh yeah. And the crazy thing is, I don't even, I don't even feel full. Janice is baking me some spice cookies right now. And that's it. Tomorrow I'm fasting. <laughs> I'm gonna do a hard four fast tomorrow. Oatmeal and protein powder. So I'm sure I'm gonna get a lot of people asking me about intermittent fasting now, especially after I just mentioned it, but after large cheat meals like this, especially the next day, for me, I don't feel hungry the next day, most of the time, for the most part. If I go to sleep pretty full and I ate a shit ton, the next day what I'll do is I'll fast anywhere between 12 and 16 hours. I'll drink fluids, I'll drink coffee, I'll do my cardio, but I won't eat anything. And then I'll break my fast about 12 to 16 hours after that. Probably before I go to the gym is I'll break my fast, but I won't eat carbohydrates. I mean, you, you become so sensitive after that fasting period that probably the worst thing you want to do is throw in a bunch of carbs to break your fast. You'll fall, you'll fall asleep. So you just do kind of like a fat meal, semi-fat meal, something light. And then the next meal after that, after you train, then you can add the carbs back in. The other reason why I do the fasting too is because since especially this stuff, we're not used to it, I need this to digest properly. I need this to get through my system before I throw in more food. If I can't digest this food properly first, it's gonna be very difficult for me to now digest the next meals and the next meals after that. So I wanna clear my system first and then go ahead and add regular food again. And no, intermittent fasting is not gonna your body's not gonna eat itself. It's not gonna go into a catabolic situation. I think the only time that your body will start eating itself, if you were fasting, is if you were fasting, 
and on top of that, then you're doing like really high intensity cardio, and then you know your body's gonna start breaking down amino acids to help you do it on a regular repair basis, yeah. and you do it on a regular basis. This is enough energy stored, at least for me. I don't know about you, at least for me to get me by tomorrow's training. Yeah, well, and maybe the next day and the next. High carb day usually takes me to three days. A low carb, you know, mm -hmm. nothing. So that intermittent, oh, intermittent fasting, you're gonna lose muscle, you're gonna lose muscle. No, you're not. You're not gonna lose muscle. Total calories for the week are usually on point, so you'll be okay. I don't know, do it every day. No. It's not good to do it every day. I'd say if you put, if you actually put intermittent fasting in your regimen, you could probably do it on your day off if you're not doing much. Like if you're kind of just sitting around a rest day, you're not really using a lot of energy. You could kind of get away with oh, beach you know, day, pool day, a beach air pool day. You know, oh, I'm gonna fast until I don't know. 12 o'clock in the afternoon. It doesn't even have to be 12 to 16 hours. Depends where you come, what time you get up. Yeah. Not everybody gets up at 4 in the morning to do cardio. <laughs> You're the only freak out that does that. I did these early, but. I'll still. The, and the other part about prep is that. Your internal clock starts waking up. Like as prep goes on, you wake up earlier and earlier and earlier and it becomes easier. And if you stay on your diet, you could just kind of stay there. But as soon as like you just start eating garbage every single day, I feel like you don't want to get out of bed. No. It becomes harder and harder and harder to get up to do cardio. I like doing cardio. It's part of programming. It's part of your mental program though. I like doing cardio in the morning. It kind of get it gets everything going. And there you have it. All this is the this is like the graveyard. The graveyard where burgers, nuggets, McFlurries, apple pies come to die and rest in peace. More to come later. Yeah.